In the creepiest video of 2024, a scientist explains how his system, Cognify, could fix prisoners by implanting AI-generated artificial memories in their brains. And it somehow gets weirder. Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In a video published across multiple platforms, a scientist presented a concept that could unclog the prison system by releasing criminals in a matter of minutes instead of years. But there's a catch. It's a dystopian nightmare. Annoyingly called Cognify, a Spotify for criminals I guess, the concept aims to strap inmates with a VR-like device and hack their brains by implementing feelings such as pain and remorse. Then, these people will become, like, not criminals. Brilliant. I definitely don't see any scenario where this can turn horribly wrong, where people are tortured or turned into slaves. Nope. Only good things can come from this. Sorry, my sarcasm is overheating. The video description states. Introducing Cognify, the prison of the future. This facility is designed to treat criminals like patients. Instead of spending years in an actual prison cell, prisoners could finish their sentence here in just a few minutes. Cognify could someday create and implant artificial memories directly into the prisoner's brain. It could offer a new approach to criminal rehabilitation, transforming how society deals with offenders by focusing on rehabilitation rather than punishment. The video begins by showing the prison of the future. A high-tech mind control facility where criminals are treated like patients. Or mind-controlled slaves. According to the video, Cognify would use AI-generated content to create and implant complex and vivid memories into the prisoner's brains. Here's how the system would work. First, the prisoner would be given the choice between rotting in jail for 20 years or being freed before dinner time. Once the prisoner chooses the second option, he hands over his mind, body, and soul to the state. The prisoner undergoes a high-resolution brain scan to create a detailed map of their neural pathway. Once the scan determines precisely the best way to mess with the criminal's brain, Cognify is trapped on their head. Cognify will make you realize your evil ways and make you a productive member of society again. Unless you were programmed to become a sex slave for the elite, of course. Although the procedure would only take a few minutes, time would pass differently in the criminal's mind as they would experience years of memories. These memories would be tailored to each prisoner, according to the crimes they've committed and their psychological profile. For instance, violent criminals would be forced to see their actions from their victim's perspective and feel the pain and suffering they've caused firsthand. Some memories would even be designed to implement permanent trauma in the criminal's mind. At this point, some might think, well, that kind of makes sense. It doesn't. But let's say it kind of does. Well, the video's narrator quickly says things that make us realize that this thing should never exist. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Later in the video, the narrator says the Cognify could treat a wide range of crimes, such as hate crimes and discrimination. Hold your horses buddy. We're not even three minutes into a video promoting this thing, and we're already in scarily slippery slope territory. Countries around the world are already redefining and weaponizing concepts such as hate crimes and discrimination to outlaw criticism and resistance to their agendas. So, following this logic, those who are guilty of wrong thinking would be reprogrammed using Cognify. This thing doesn't exist yet, but it should already be banned. Cognify could modulate neurotransmitters and hormones to induce specific emotional states, such as remorse or regrets, or maybe, unquestioned compliance with the overlords. 
The video then explains how the AI-driven system could collect massive amounts of data from inmates and gather them in a central computer to prevent crimes. Or people who don't comply with agendas. There's no need to worry guys. The lock icon means that the data is super safe. Nobody can ever access data when there's a lock icon. The video ends by explaining how this device would save money and create a more stable and productive society. Unless, of course, it was used by an entity seeking to control people and crush dissidents. But that never happened in history, right? Right. Clearly, this video caused me to have a sarcasm overload, because it is so ridiculously absurd. Luckily, for now, Cognify only exists in the cognition of its creator. Hashem Algaili, a Germany-based scientist. This photo shows Hashem Algaili describes some of his other bad ideas in a TED talk. The molecular biologist is known for creating science-based videos that sometimes go viral. In 2022, Al Ghaili horrified the world with his ecto-life concept, an artificial womb that creates custom babies. Another profoundly dehumanizing concept from Al Ghaili. It even caused Candace Owens to be alarmed. So, are these concepts merely the product of an influencer attempting to become viral with terrible ideas? Hopefully yes. Unfortunately, especially in the case of Cognify, the technology to create such a system already exists. This is a headline from Scientific American from 2019. We're five years later, so, you better believe that science made significant leaps since then. While Al Ghaili could be dismissed as a sophisticated scientific troll, his ideas are not unlike those proposed by the World Economic Forum and other elite entities. For instance, last year, a web presentation explained how the monitoring of brainwaves could be used to fight crime as explained in this video. In short, if it hadn't happened already, the WEF might tell Al Ghaili, I like the way you think, and actually give him the means to make his ideas a reality. Let's hope not. Because they'll probably want to cognify me for making this video. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.